In the latest pod news, Spotify has announced SoundUp Boot Camp Australia for aspiring podcasters who identify as Aboriginal or Torres Strait Islanders to take part in a four-day residential podcasting workshop to be held in Sydney in November. SoundUp Boot Camp US received over 18,000 applications earlier this year. Midroll has released the newest version of the company's listener survey. 81% of Midroll's listeners pay attention to podcast ads. 72% of people who've listened to podcasts for more than four years have bought from podcast advertisers. There's lots more data. Jacob Weisberg is leaving Slate, probably best known to podcast listeners as the co-host of Trumpcast. He's off to work with Malcolm Gladwell's new audio venture. Acast podcasts are now available for distribution on Spotify, the company has announced. We understand that Acast ads will benefit from pass-through, so Acast can still use dynamic ads in their content rather than Spotify caching all of their audio. The Apple podcast chart is screwed. How should we replace it? That's the title of an editorial from Pod News's editor, James Cridland. That's me, highlighting some recent activity around manipulation of the chart, including a Twitter thread from Kevin Goldberg. The question, I say, is whether we can get a truly global replacement for the Apple podcast chart, one less susceptible to being cheated, one more representative of the industry as a whole, and one that is just as accessible for passion podcasters as for VC-backed podcast publishers.